morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Wednesday, the 11th of January 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of market numbers, let's uh, go through them. Uh, Asian markets, from my perspective, uh, interpretation certainly bearish, given the fact that China was down 0.8%. Although Hang Seng was up and the Nikkei was certainly higher as well, uh, but from my cons uh, from my perspective, certainly is the number one the uh, obviously weaker inflation number that we got yesterday, and uh, overnight uh, again um, China currency concerns, liquidity concerns, uh, certainly is uh, at the uh, forefront. And any time China is certainly down is certainly a, a warning sign. Okay, from my perspective and my understanding based on intermarket analysis. So therefore, looking for a, a bearish bias. Now, the other concern as well, we had US equities down last night and overnight as well, with the S&P touching a pivot low, if I can rec uh, if I can just uh, confirm, a pivot low of um, 22.65, but on the back of this potential new story regarding Trump and Russia, uh, apparently accusing of, obviously, the accusation's always been there with regards to Trump, given the fact that uh, one week before Hillary Clinton was... Uh, was expected to win the election. This uh, this uh, news came out regarding uh, her credibility, etc. The WikiLeaks document, etc., was certainly very conveniently leaked at the uh, at that time and obviously undermined her uh, ability to win. So, Mr. Trump apparently is being accused of being a Russian mole, and uh, apparently they have certain um, uh, evidence regarding or controversial evidence or. Uh, circumstantial uh, evidence that certainly undermines him and makes him vulnerable uh, and uh, certainly uh, uh, gives the ability for the Russians certainly to control him to a large extent. So again, that certainly is a, a, a concern. Now, bear with me one second. Let me just... That's fine. Okay, so, okay, so that certainly is uh, is is certainly the new story. Certainly is dominating, and that certainly sent the European equities down initially due to uh, political uh, uncertainty. And I think that will certainly continue into the U.S. session. Okay, now let me just bring up the S and P five hundred to show you. Uh, again, the S and P five hundred is where we're taking our cue from, being given the fact that it's into market analysis. Okay, let's just go to the S&P. So the S&P certainly is holding that uh, <clears throat> uh, key resistance at 2278. So therefore, when the S&P starts to uh, top out, then you are going to see that uh, follow through into the European and Asian markets as well. So therefore, one needs to exercise caution. The 60-minute chart on the S&P 500 has the H&S formation. And given the fact that Mr. Trump's potential accusation uh, certainly undermines him, given his speech today as well, uh, certainly does uh, add in the risk factor, okay, so therefore looking for risk aversion now, looking for a risk off, okay, and um, basically looking for that potential gap to be filled below at 2257, and if the market starts to exacerbate on the sell side, then you are looking for that potential gap down below at 2238. Now counting the, uh, and again, this is again the H&S formation on the S&P 500 really is key, and instrumental as to the potential next move on European equities as well, whether or not they can break out. If the US market is starting to show weakness, then obviously you're going to see weakness into the uh, into the European session as well. And you are looking at a uh, 2282 head, neckline 2262. So you're looking for a target of 2242 on the downside. Okay, 2242 makes perfect sense given the unfilled gap below at 2239. Abracadabra, okay. So technicals basically are screaming to you that this market wants to fall. OK, and given the fact that this market wants to fall, then you are going to see that uh, reverberate into European markets, too. So just bear that in mind. OK, so just going to share this with subscribers and live analysis service. Now, this is basically what I do in real time. I provide real time analysis, charts, commentary, trades, entry, exit, etc., etc. Currently on, I think, 90 odd points this week. So uh, and still trading. So a decent week this week. Last two weeks have been certainly circumspect. OK, or last two months, or should I say I've been circumspect. So, uh, again, last uh, gen, gen November, December, negative one month for me, OK? Uh, very hard for me to understand and interpret post Donald Trump, OK? Uh, especially given the fact that FTSE and NASDAQ making new highs, again, absolutely baffled, OK? As to um, how that's occurring. But that's the market for you. You have to adjust, and uh, you must... Uh, you must adjust, otherwise uh, the market will adjust your PL. Okay, so uh, H&S formation here on the S&P 500 certainly bodes um, obviously negative. Okay, bear with me. 
Okay, so <clears throat> certainly negative for European equities. Okay, now in terms of European equities, let's just quickly go over the economic data. Uh, really, nothing of any uh, importance other than the fact that you had UK manufacturing stronger than expected, production stronger than expected. Uh, manufacturing and industrial production both on the positive side, although the trade balance was on the negative side, okay, <clears throat> and uh, the uh, construction certainly was negative as well. In terms of the US session today, like I said, it's all about Mr. Trump. His speech is at 4 p.m. UK time. Watch out for that. You also have your crude inventories, again, very volatile, given the fact that oil, oil has fallen down to 51. In my analysis of my videos the last few uh, days, you, you certainly know my bias was bearish on, on, on oil. I highlighted the fact that you had a H&S formation and obviously a daily chart being into resistance as well. So 60-minute chart certainly is uh, is bearish at present. Four-hour chart, which I highlighted, as you can see here, a H&S formation. Now, the H&S formation target is 55.3, uh, neckline 52. So you're looking at 49. Uh, we're not too far off, although there is horizontal support here, so be careful, okay? So you look for a potential short squeeze and obviously then look for a potential move lower. Okay, so again, my bias on the FTSE was bearish based on a H&S formation on oil. And as you can see here, the market certainly has ignored it altogether. So impressive. Okay, let's just say that. Okay, very, very impressive. Okie dokie. So certainly impressive. Okay, so um, in terms of the indices now, let's just go over the indices. Uh, German DAX certainly did bounce off that support level at 11.520, almost a 100 point rip higher, which is very, very impressive. 60-minute uh, chart of the uh, German DAX. Again, you know you have resistance at uh, 11, 6, 30, and 20. So you are looking for resistance there. Daily chart really just consolidating, okay? Really consolidating with potential bottoming tail. There is a possibility of a bull flag scenario playing out, given the fact that we're consolidating in the upper 25%, and you can certainly see a, a continued flush uh, higher. Uh, again, everything is a possibility, the upside and the downside. Uh, not one of those. That will uh, obviously marry myself uh, to a certain direction. Uh, just remain flexible, folks, okay? Put in a 30, 40 point stop and trade the market according to where it wants to go, not where you want it to go. Okay, now uh, German DAX again, weekly chart. If we do continue to push higher, then you have resistance levels above 11,670, 11,800, uh, and then obviously 11,930. So all those are possibilities. I mean, every single one of those is a possibility. So, especially given the fact that you are looking at a retracement on the euro at the moment. So, again, Everything is a possibility. I mean, look at this rip higher today. I was expecting consolidation here, looking for a lower high, then obviously look for a lower low down to 11,480. And what happened? We we actually reversed in the, in the exactly opposite direction. So market always does what you uh, least expect it to do. Okay, right. Uh, and it's your obviously it's your job to be flexible. Stop losses in at all times. Okay. So daily chart of the uh, the French CAC certainly showing weakness, looking for a bear flag formation. So again, if I am going to short any index, it's definitely going to be the French CAC. One of, definitely one of the weakest links. Uh, lower lows, lower highs, you can see here. It did actually test that uh, key resistance or key support around the uh, 4850 zone, which was very impressive. But then it ripped higher, okay? So it ripped almost 50 points higher. Very impressive thrust. 10 minute chart, Euro's uh, CAC at the moment certainly is lagging now. Uh, looking for weakness, looking for a retracement low from my perspective, okay? FTSE 100, okay? Now this uh, index that never stops going higher, okay? Uh, this is uh, certainly uh, pushing higher into that 7300 zone. We'll see whether or not it can attack that. Now, my concern for the FTSE 100 really is FTSE 250 weekly chart is into resistance. And therefore, you are looking for a reversal on the FTSE 100. Again, I know FTSE itself is uh, is certainly married uh, exclusively to the uh, GBP USD chart. Now, you GBP USD is certainly trading absolutely inverse ever since we've had a fall in there. Body of sterling FTSE is certainly has been pushing higher, regardless of oil prices moving lower. It certainly has become to, immune to a, a fall in the price of oil as well. It certainly is exclusively attached to the price of sterling, given the Brexit scenario. Okay, so again, <clears throat> investors sensing that as some sort of opportunity to front run the uh, sterling crash trade by buying uh, the actual. Um, UK stocks, given the fact that uh, foreign earnings come back and obviously more profits. So again, FTSE 160 minute chart, you had the rising contracting wedge pattern, which really is a bearish pattern. Always remember that. Okay, rising contracting wedge is bearish and therefore looking for a retracement, given the fact that FTSE 250 <coughs> is into resistance. Okay, so again, um, from my perspective, certainly looking for 7260 and potentially lower 7260, 7250. Even 7240, given the Trump concerns. So again, let's see how the Trump concerns permeate the market. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. 
and uh, certainly take adv advantage of the bonus and be sure to visit TradeSignal and download the latest app. Goodbye now.